It's starting to snow. I gotta get this bed cover on. This is a Truxedo Truck Sport Tonneau cover. And I'm gonna install it today before the real snow comes. So now that the rugged liner is installed, and by the way, yesterday when I installed it, it was kind of curved up a little bit, but after one day it leveled out. It fits perfectly. Love this thing. So we're gonna cover it to protect it, protect the bed, protect stuff that we put inside. By the way, this is a 2022 Ram 1500 four x four, and this is a five foot seven bed. Let's just get this stuff out and we'll get started. <clears throat> Woo, look at the smell. Awesome. This foam is included if you don't have a drop-in bed liner so you can seal it, but because mine does, I don't need this. Serious game changer having the liner in. I can now sit and work in the truck without worrying about scratching it up. All right, look at that. I dropped and no scratch. These are the clamps that hold the bed cover down. It's like 22 degrees outside. All right, this has the one with the little notch cut out in the corner. And we align it as such, right? No, no. They cut this side a little long on the rubber strip over here. We'll see if that holds. All right, then this side. Okay. Huh. I gotta do some trimming on the rubber. I'm going to trim this rubber piece back a little bit. I really feel like that's what's holding me up. I'll try that. See how this seal is bunging up right here? I'm going to see if I can fix that. I don't like that. That's what leads to leaks. So I'm going to trim this back a little bit. Just right here. Pick that up later. Yeah, I feel better about that. That's not puckering up as much as it was. Let's flip it back over. Let's put our clamps on. Loosen these up. Oh wait, I gotta cover my fingers. It's cold out of here. Clamp just slides under the bed. On top of that, that's gonna clamp that down eventually, but hang on, clamp. Back over to the driver's side, I'm gonna slide, I think, this into this. Ta-da! Same thing over here. See, the cover's not centered. I'll tell you, there's a piece of it right there sticking up too far. Ah, oh, there we go. That's centered really nice. All right, let's try it again. Oh boy, what a difference that made. All right, so now that's no longer pushing that out. All right, let's get this thing centered on here proper like. Oh, that's nice. Looks like it can go right against the edge. Let's try that. Oh yeah, that works. Lampy number three on this side, driver's side. The best thing about this is DIY. Doing your own work, there is a severe satisfaction in getting it done yourself. The drop-in liner, DIY, and you save a lot of money. So for me anyway, that's important. It also makes it more my truck. I did it, not someone else. However, I do thank my buddy who got me this liner when I was having trouble. Thank you, dude. I'm excited about this. Look, it's all squared up. Bracket, bracket, bracket. We're ready to go. Let's see if we got these equally spaced though, right? I want this one over a little more like the other side. There we go. And look at that, we got it snugged up right up against the edge. It's even got a little lip that slides right inside that notch. And you want it as far in as possible so you get even pressure right in the middle for the best seal. Look at that thing, it's coming together. <laughs> this thing was the right price too, I gotta tell you. 
I think it's about 350 bucks and it has a five year warranty on the cover. Also I read this does keep water out. Need it to be dry in here, it's important. But this is definitely the budget route. There are really fancy ones out there, hard ones. I like this one because the way it rolls up, it rolls up nice and tight and you get the full range, full space of the bed if you need it. I wanna get near the corners best I can here. good all right that's not going anywhere now all right so again watch your notches make sure this thing is completely flush pushed in and correctly aligned yeah we're square and square this oh it's perfectly square lining up this edge with the edge of the bed got to make sure we have full Movement over here. Excellent. Whatever you end up doing with your bed though, don't let people railroad you into something. Do your own homework. Talk to people who have gone before you. There's a lot of hype and fear marketing out there. I know I'm in marketing. I know some of the strategies. That's really cool. I did that, huh? Let's see what we got here. Roll it out. Hope I did it right. Wow, that's cool. The steel bars in the middle. Hold it up, give it support. <laughs> Look at this. We have a trunk, a giant trunk. All right, let's see what we got on the ends. This is the end where you need to put the last seal. Yes. Okay, that's sealed. Yeah, look at that. So look at the lip. It grabs right there and then pulls forward. And it's adjustable, so you can adjust the tension. Ah, that's cool. It's definitely tight. It's also cold. So I accidentally set my GoPro to stop motion, but let me tell you what's going on here. And forgive me, it looks like an episode of Davy and Goliath. The manual says do not adjust the top. It is set by the factory, and if you touch it, you will void your warranty. So as tight as it felt, I made sure it wasn't hung up anywhere, and I simply pressed hard until it closed. It locked into place on both sides, and that was it. Only thing left to do was press the Velcro down on both sides. And look at this giant trunk space. Pretty cool, huh? Well, that's it. A very simple install, really. Say hello to the newly installed Truxedo Truck Sport Tonneau Cover. I think it looks amazing. The fit is perfect, and it's going to keep the bed of this truck clean and dry. Look at this. Just in time. Right there, that's what it's all about, people. Right there. Easy cleanup. Thank you very much.